Hello Game Makers, this is Game Maker Rob and in today's episode I'll show you how to make a camera follow the player and also how to clamp the camera to a room as well so you can't go outside the boundaries. Let's get started. Hey, so uh, this is a follow on from one of my old tutorials called uh, Camera Follow Object. Um, if you are just here for the camera clamp, you can skip ahead to the timestamp that I'm going to display now. If you're still with me, then I'm going to explain how to make the uh, camera follow the, the player as well as clamp it. Um, so, to explain how this works, uh, we have a view set up in the room. Um, for that, we have to go down to the room settings, uh, viewport and camera. And we want to set viewport zero to be visible. Uh, I've got mine as a width and height of 320 by 240 uh, for the camera and a viewport of 640 by 480. Uh, what effect this is going to have is um, if you look at your room, the white rectangle is your camera. So if I change this to something else, you'll see the white rectangle increases like that um, and the viewport is like your game screen so how big does your game, game screen want to be uh, I have mine at double the dimensions of the the, the uh, view the camera sorry so uh, that's what these numbers are about uh, and, and that's all you need really to you just make make sure that viewports are enabled and that they are visible and you set these stats here that's all you need so once you've got that set up views are always drawn from the top left because we want our play to be in the center um, the way we can make the view always be uh, always be centered on the, on the player is we want to take away half of the width of the, the view from the player x and half of the height of the view from the player Y and that will give us this coordinate here in the top left so this one here so no matter where we move around the player is always going to be in the center uh, the code for that is really really simple in the end step we've got this here so we want to know half the width of the view half the height of the view which is what these two functions will tell us I divide by two to get half of it and then we're going to use camera set view pause to position the camera so we're going to tell view camera zero that we want it to be drawn from the players x minus half the width of the view and the players y minus half the height of the view and, and that's it that's how you make this happen okay so now we are going to clamp the camera uh, to do this we need to set some boundary we need to say okay we don't want to move left of this point we don't want to move up of this point we don't want, want to move right of this point and we don't want to move down of this point uh, we're going to set some variables for that we're going to have min view x which we're going to set it to zero and we're going to have min view y which we're going to set to zero as well so zero zero the coordinates are going to be here in the room that's zero zero and for the max view x and max view y we want to set it as the room width minus the width of the view and the room height minus the height of the view the reason for that if you look at our room um, if we change the coordinates so uh, if we make the x pos 320 and the y pos 240 we want the view to go no further he than here so no, no further down than here and no further right than here because then all of the black area is is missed out 
and the coordinates like I said is the width of the room minus the width of the view will give us this position on the x-axis and the height of the room minus the height of the view will give us that position so that's how we're going to clamp the camera by saying don't move you know beyond those four values that we set um, for code if we go into the end step again uh, we can we can comment this stuff out because we don't need any more because we're going to do the whole thing in this region here so it's very similar you can copy and paste it for the most most part the main changes are we're now storing uh, x minus half u width in a variable and y minus half u height in a variable and then we're going to use a useful function called clamp and this will make sure that cx never goes below min view y and cx never goes above max view x and the same for cy and then again we're just going to use camera set view pause to set the camera but this time it's cx and cy and if we run the game so i'm at the very top and i can't move the camera doesn't follow me around and then if we start to move down then it will until i get to the bottom of the room and you can see there's, there's no black bars being displayed because i have limited the view to those four variables and that's it i uh, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this one uh, thank you for watching and i will catch you next time bye for now